Hello, uh, friends. Um, I plan to explore with you in the next few videos uh, various titles for Jesus. And today I want to look briefly at uh, the idea of Jesus being the, the teacher and revealer of truth. And a great place to start uh, with this particular uh, title for Christ is uh, that famous exchange with uh, Pontius Pilate uh, during Jesus' Passion, where he says, uh, For this I was born, and for this I came into the world, to testify to the truth. Everyone who belongs to the truth listens to my voice. This is a bold statement. Um, you know, a major reason for Jesus' mission uh, on this earth is to reveal truths about God and about God's plan for our lives on this earth that we can't figure out on our own or, or just kind of come to with the, the natural gift of reason. These revealed truths uh, lead us out of the darkness of our sin and, and selfishness and into the light where we discover human fulfillment, where we discover uh, abundant life and where uh, we discover the path to eternal life and to heaven. Before his passion, uh, the Lord proclaimed to the Twelve uh, another bold statement, um, I am the way and the truth and the life. Uh, no one comes to the Father but through me. And so we understand that, that Jesus is the way to God the Father. Jesus is the, the way out of the bondage of sin. Jesus is the way to abundant life on this earth that comes to a grand conclusion of uh, the fullness of life in heaven in union with God. And so Jesus is truth. He is truth itself. He is the Word made flesh. He's the uh, eternal Word spoken by the Father. Jesus is also uh, life. He restores us to life through the forgiveness of our sins and through renewing our relationship with God the Father. He restores us to life through his tender love and he restores us uh, to life with the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. And Jesus' mission as teacher and revealer of truth uh, kind of flies in the face of uh, a number of elements in our own culture today uh, which really deny the existence of uh, universal truths, of, of truths that don't change uh, according to the time uh, or uh, the latest uh, philosophy. And as followers of Christ, I think that we are called to stand up against uh, this inclination in our culture toward this, this relativism that says that there are no uh, universal or immutable uh, truths in the world today. Now, there were times when Jesus' teaching was very hard to embrace for his followers and uh, was actually a, a cause of, of division at times. Um, it should not surprise us on some level, if nothing else, at least because we know that, that Jesus spoke about that. And at one point he says, uh, in Luke's Gospel, chapter 12, he says, Do you think that I have come to give uh, peace uh, on earth? No, I, I tell you, but rather division. And so we know that after Jesus in the Bread of Life discourse in John's Gospel spoke so beautifully about the Eucharist, at the end of that, uh, St. John the Evangelist says, and as a result of this, many of the disciples returned to their former way of life and no longer accompanied him. And we also know that uh, the Lord, after his uh, uh, powerful encounter with the rich young man and, and offering him a challenge, it says that the rich young man went away sad for his possessions were, were many. And so um, it shouldn't surprise us that at times uh, these truths uh, cause some division in our world. And Jesus uh, revealed the truth and taught us this way 
with a, a wonderfully uh, wise combination of word and example. And I think that we all know that, that often his actions were, were much more powerful than even his words. And so the, the fact that the eternal God crashed down through the barriers of time and space and, and took on our human flesh and was wrapped in swaddling clothes and, and laid in a manger has captured the attention of humanity for 2,000 years. Uh, the time that our Lord spent with uh, those people uh, while on this earth uh, who were on the fringe, um, the handicapped, uh, the, the, the lepers, the, the, the blind, the, the, the lame, the, the non-Jews, the Gentiles, uh, the, the tax collectors, um, show to the world that, that God has a precious love for every single human being. And the forgiveness that Jesus offered from the cross uh, to all of those who had murdered him and to the repentant thief certainly remind us that Jesus taught uh, uh, what he preached and lived what he taught. Everyone who belongs to the truth listens to my voice. Thank you, and God bless you.